Thank you so much, my brother, Honorable Minister Guam, the Right Honorable Speaker, and fellow mourners. I'm Romlicha Ivan Dejad, Member of Parliament for Toroko County, Toroko District. Rest well. To many of us, the mentor, the brother and father, he has been almost everything to us. He has moved. Our prayers and the blessings of God to remain in this family so that we serve the Lord because our work is to serve the Lord and to serve the nation. May God bless you. Right, Honorable Speaker, the clergy and fellow mourners, my name is Kubeketeria James, Member of Parliament for Vinya County East. Right, Honorable Speaker, I was my speaker at Makerere University. Rest in peace. Uh, the Right, Honorable Speaker and dear mourners, uh, my name is Paul O'Mara, a member of parliament 
representing the people of Watuke County. My leader Jacob, rest in peace. Right Honorable Speaker, the clergy and my fellow monarchs, I'm Agasha Jure I represent Mitoma District. Rest in peace, the hero, rest in peace, the man of God. May God rest you very well. Thank you. Great Honorable Speaker, the clergy, the family of our fallen speaker, members of parliament and the ministers around, I'm called Jennifer Mohesi. I represent the people of Kaiso District as well. Right Honorable Prime Minister, Speaker. Right Honorable Speaker, uh, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, Members of the NRAF, and other political parties, religious leaders, uh, dear mourners, it is sad that we are here, but we take it that this is the will of God. The right honorable Olanya died in the United States, where I am outgoing ambassador. That night was a very bad night. Among other things, I received a telephone call from the right honorable speaker to say the bad news and to instruct me and my mission to immediately undertake the repatriation process. We have been able to do that. The processes are not easy. But with the help of everybody here in Uganda and in our area of accreditation in the United States, we have been able, we are able to bring the remains of our right honorable speaker emeritus. There were so many things spoken here that were taking very long. I want to assure all the mourners here that actually, we took 10 days to have all the clearances done and two days to transport the remains. Normally, it takes 14 days, so we were not late. Actually, it was one of the most express uh, exercises by, 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 by any government. We want to thank the right honorable speaker for the help she extended to us, for the guidance, because many things had to be done. And at this juncture, allow me to express our sincere condolences to the family. We were with some, we were, we were with part of the family. We, we were with Ezra, we were with Diana, we were with Harold. And it was a very difficult situation. At every stage of the process, we would brief each other. And in the process, we would just cry. Because as you said, we have now got this document. It says this. And you think, is this true? Is this the, the person we knew? And then you start crying. But thank God all came together. We were able to, call, to connect all the children and other members of the family so that we arrived here with a casket. And the uh, right honorable speaker, our sincere condolences. Condolences also go to His Excellency President Museveni and all members of his government. 
condolences to the family, condolences to the religious leaders here, and condolences to all Ugandans. The Right Honorable Jacob Olanya was a, a person above many. I came to know many of his friends, many senators in the United States, who are great in our grief. Right when I will speak, I've come with some of the messages. We pass them on. But the, lastly, let me say this about the late Jacob Olanya. Every he used to be a frequent visitor in the United States. But there were two things about him. He always wanted to be independent. Two, he always called me. He would say, Ambassador, I'm here in your area of, of jurisdiction. Is everything OK? I said, OK. Right on, I go, where are you? Can you send a driver? Can we come? Can we send another? He said, no, 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 I'm OK. And whenever he was leaving, he would say, I have left. That is a very special person. That time, when this act, when this unfortunate matter happened, we received a distress call from Uganda to clear the flight that was forever to wait. We received that message six, mo six hours before takeoff. It was a very difficult situation. Normally, we need the, uh, the, the, our force to buy about two days. I told our defense advisor, I said, just do it. He said, I'll, I'll try, but I don't know whether I will succeed. I said, we shall all pray for you. And we did, within that period, the permission had been granted. And we communicated it here. They brought him to, 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 to Seattle. And I tried to connect. I couldn't. But his call came. He said, Ambassador, we are here. I'm under treatment. But please, it will be OK. And I, I knew him. That was his character. I talked to some members of the family. He said, it's OK. Then he said, Ambassador, when we need you, you know what I do. I will call you. And that bad call eventually came. And it was devastating. It was devastating. But all of us, a lot has been said about the right honorable speaker, the medicals. Let's built into his legacy. He has been a tall person, and we need many more tall persons to come out of us. Right, Honorable Speaker? May the Lord grant the soul of Right Honorable Jacob Dokori Tolanya in eternal peace. And God bless everybody. Oh, my boss who is the chairperson of the National Organizing Committee, the Minister for Presidency. Allow me to thank all the members of the National Organizing Committee for the work well done. If there's anywhere who have not performed up to expectations, on behalf of the presidency, I want to apologize to you here. Going forward, I'll be able to give you the program, but permit me to ask Honorable Akena, Introduce his team. He has come with look at the way he's dressed. It signifies something which is very unique of the late. Honorable, you're most welcome, President General of the Uganda People's Congress. You're most welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, Honorable Minister. Right, Honorable Speaker, distinguished mourners in your respective capacities, I stand here with many hats. I am a member of parliament representing Lira East Division. As the Honorable Minister mentioned, I'm also the President of the Uganda People's Congress. 
and I'm a member of Uganda Bikers with whom we are here today. Firstly, I'd like to extend my sincere condolences to the family for the loss of a great man. I would also like to state on record that though Jacob was a member of the Congress before he moved on to the NRM, I will appreciate NRM for granting him the opportunity to come to Parliament where we all know it will spend a night. Then on Wednesday, the border will be able to be moved to Kololo, where we expect actually the president to be the chief mourner to preside over the ceremonies which is going to take place in Kololo. Thereafter, the border will be flown to Omoro district, where we expect the Council of Northern Uganda to pay their respect, and that will take place on Thursday. On Friday, we shall have a final send-off of our beloved brother. We shall have the NRM historicals who will be here to be with us in the service. Allow me to recognize the arrival of Honorable Lieutenant Colonel Bright Ramiram.